Cash, this is the Taz. My grandfather, my great grandfather, my great great grandfather wore on the urban. In addition to that, it's also the towers that your uncles all wore. As the towers is wrapped around you, we love you. Congratulations. And we would also like you to be sure that it's passed on to the next one, okay? Congratulations. We're so thankful for um, Cash and the tenacity with which he put into his studies. We're so thankful to his parents for their amazing hospitality and gathering us all. There's so many things for which we're thankful. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot. That's where we go. It's eternally Egypt. That there is a better place, a promised land. That the wind, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get there from here except by joining hands and marching together. Congratulations, Cash. Your dad and I are so proud of you today. Um, more than that, we're proud of the young person that you've become. You always have been a determined person throughout this bar mitzvah process. You've helped you to that. It was not always easy to master the prayers and learn how to chant, but you did it. As you've moved through the bar mitzvah journey, and we've, and we've all moved through 2020, Mom and I have witnessed you finding your voice. You are able to articulate and put into practice your values and what you believe to be just and right in the world. This past year, Mom and I were blown away at your idea of selling face masks and donating the money to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. What a great idea. This idea came from even before face masks were suggested by the CDC. You not only came up with the idea, but then you proposed the idea to me, and then put the idea into practice by delivering flyers throughout our neighborhood. I remember when you were a kid and we'd pass by on the Sylvan exit, pass by a homeless person, and you'd always say, Mom, can we give that person money? You've always been an empathetic person. As we watch you today embrace the Torah, we are confident that you will fulfill the promise passed down to you to strive to live by the values our Torah teaches us to live with honor, integrity, and just deeds, good deeds every step of the way. Our promise to you is to be there for you always, no matter what, every step of the way. Our prayer for you today is for a long life filled with peace, health, and happiness and purpose surrounded by family and friends, and you continue to cherish every day of life like you already do with dedication, balance, and kindness. We love you around the world and back forever. You took ownership of your process, and with the help of Rabbi Jessica, you did it. Dad and I remember hearing you chant in the evening, and we would sit there and look at each other from the other room and smile. We're so proud that you dedicated and you were committed to the process what I really, what we really want to tell him is how proud we are of him tonight. How proud we are of how hard he worked at his bar mitzvah and um, of the kid he's become. And we just want you to know how much you are loved and how proud we are of you. So we love you.